Hello, I'm Roger Christian. Welcome to Taptivist. iCloud is a cornerstone of Apple's ecosystem. It's such a basic building block of iOS and has so many advantages that I really recommend it to all iPhone, iPad and Mac users. Here's the introduction to iCloud on Apple's website. If you need to know more or have any concerns about iCloud, I'll be writing a more in-depth article for Taptivist.net shortly. For this video I'll be using the latest version of the system, iOS 7. Don't worry if you're using an earlier version though, the process is virtually identical. Setting up iCloud is free and it only takes a couple of minutes, so let's dive straight in. OK, to set up iCloud on your iPhone or your iPad, you'll need to go into your Settings app and here it is. Tap on it uh, to open up the app, get to your Settings, scroll down a little way and you'll see the iCloud tab there. Tap to get into that and if you haven't yet set up iCloud you'll get this screen you might already have an Apple ID so enter that and your password to gain access but if you don't have one yet then there's an option at the bottom there get a free Apple ID so let's tap on that and uh, get going it'll ask you for um, your birthday which is part of the security process so I'll just select something random here just for demo purposes and tap on the next button at the top then enter your details um, I'm just setting up a demo account here so I'll just set Taptivist demo as the name tap on the next button to go to the next now here you can choose between using your existing email address or setting up uh, a new iCloud based email address in other words an email address that will end with at iCloud.com um, I'll go with that latter option so I'll get a free, uh, a free email address at the same time so I'll tap on that hit the next button to carry on here I can select the, uh, the name that's going to be my email so again I'll just uh, make this a demo one tap on next to proceed there's just a warning that uh, you won't be able to change this so let's carry on and create and here you'll be asked to enter your password and you know obviously make sure it's a fairly secure one nothing too obvious okay I've entered my password so I'll tap on next to proceed now it'll run through a series of security questions again it's a good idea to uh, to select pretty secure questions here, nothing that anyone can guess too easily. So I'll run through these and uh, I'll skip over it because obviously that's something that you can uh, you can sort out yourself. And then we reach another screen, a rescue email. It's asking for a secondary email address that you can use uh, to help you uh, recover any um, your password or, or any other details that you might need to. Um, so that's a useful thing to enter, so I'll just enter uh, uh, an extra email address in here. and I'll uh, tap on next to proceed yep yeah, and I'll, I'll select uh, the uh, keeping up to date via email updates you can switch that off obviously if you don't want to but I'll, I'll keep that on it uh, can be useful uh, the inevitable terms and conditions screen uh, you can select uh, to send that by email um, or just skip that and agree and the agree buttons at the bottom there so let's tap on that And that's uh, pretty much it for as far as uh, entering details goes. As you can see, it's pretty quick, and uh, the little spinny icon at the top there indicates that uh, the account is being created. Okay, so um, that was pretty quick. It must have taken only 10 seconds or so to create that account. And uh, it then slides you through to um, the general settings screen for iCloud and uh, gives you this uh, little alert message um, letting you know that uh, there is some data on your phone which is existing and gives you the option to uh, to merge um, various bits of, of data with um, your iCloud account so you can go ahead and merge that okay now it asks you if you want to use the location uh, of your iPhone with iCloud 
Um, this is a pretty useful feature using location services. Um, as it says there, it, it uses it for various things in the background, for locating your iPhone, um, and so on and so on. So it's it's a it's quite a useful feature to switch on. If you if you're sort of a little uneasy about that, then go ahead and click on Don't Allow. Uh, it's something that you can switch on again later if you need to. So for the moment, I'm going to switch it on though. OK, and once you've entered all that information, you're brought to this settings screen here, and that means that you're pretty much done. If you like, you can scroll through this list and, and see what uh, is switched on. You're free to switch off any of these things if you need to, but really there's there's no need to switch them off. It's, uh, it's simply a backup system. All your data will be sent in the background without affecting the performance of your phone. Um, so I'd recommend that you just uh, that you leave all these on for the moment. If there's definitely nothing things that you're not going to use on here then um, then you can switch them off at a later date but for the moment just leave them all on so you can see that all your basic information uh, your mail account will now be set up automatically for you uh, contacts that you add will be backed up calendar reminders safari bookmarks notes that you make uh, your passbook um, items tickets and so on keychain is switched off by default um, that's a, a topic for a separate video I think photos it's you know very handy obviously to have your photos being backed up to the cloud but uh, that's another one that uh, warrants a whole show because photo management is actually a fairly complex thing on the iPhone um, so we'll come back to that your documents and data again um, those applications that use documents and data in iCloud will automatically be able to uh, to send that info back to the iCloud and, and back it all up. So that's all uh, that's all pretty good. Um, Find my iPhone is a very uh, a very useful feature. Obviously, uh, as the name suggests, it now allows you to to track the location of your phone should it get lost or stolen. So that's a, a very useful feature also. Okay, so that's done. Um, you can just click on the home button now come out of that and you're ready to just carry on with using your iPhone as usual. Well that's all there is to it really, that is the basic setup of iCloud. iCloud's designed to be a background service and all backups and synchronization will happen invisibly. There's nothing more that you need to do yourself manually. As mentioned earlier I'll be writing a more in-depth article about iCloud looking at what it does and also crucially what it doesn't do. Many people assume that when they switch on iCloud every last bit of their data is taken care of, but this isn't strictly true. I'll also take a look at concerns that you may have about security and privacy, so look out for that on taptivist.net in the near future.